Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I picked up during the month of June. There are a ton of titles, some really great releases, still books, um, stuff that I got from um, different regions. So I'm very happy to be able to show you all of these things for today. Um, first up, the big release for the first week. I am going to do this in release week order. Hopefully I've got everything in the correct order. But the first week we got the Super Mario Brothers movie release. So I did get the Target exclusive with the lenticular. Not a very good lenticular effect, but still I like that. And then we got the still book, which was really hard to get. And then I got just the regular 4K release. And I got the 4K release Walmart exclusive that has the star. So very happy to have those. Another big release for the week was the Indiana Jones films on 4K with their individual slips. So I got Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. And another Harrison Ford release, we got Clear and Present Danger with a slipcover. We also got the Mummy Trilogy Collection with a slip box. Some Blu-ray releases that we got. We got a re-release for Wonder with a slip. We got Renfield, which I really enjoyed watching. We got The Event, the complete series on Blu-ray. Warriors 2 from Arrow Video. And also, I got Warriors 2, the limited edition Arrow store exclusive with a different slip. And we got Wish You Were Here. This right here is a UK release. Not very familiar with it. Then we got some of these great looking Disney 100 still books from Best Buy. We have Coco, Cars, Toy Story, and another 4K release for Lord of War with a slip cover. Okay, during the second week, we had a big release for John Wick. Um, chapter 4, we got the Target exclusive with the dog on the cover, which I like that they did that. I got the regular Blu-ray release. I got the 4K release with the slip. I got the Amazon exclusive with the bonus disc and a different slip. I got the box set for Chapter 4. I believe this right here is a Walmart exclusive also. And then we got the Walmart Steelbook release. And we have the Best Buy Steelbook release, which was hard to get. And then some of the regular releases for the week were Sweetwater on Blu-ray. I'm not very familiar with this one. It is a basketball film. The Man from Toronto with Woody Harrelson and Kevin Hart. The Pope's Exorcist. We have the 4K release for Rain Man. The MVD Rewind Collection did a release for Kill Zone with a slip. And also um, Witch Trap. Kino Lorber released The Package. The Great Train Robbery. Gorky Park. Juggernaut. And then I was able to get the cube, or just cube, with a slipcover. This is the remake. I hear it's not very good. And then I got um, Sacra, Sacra, One Ranger, Bone Cold, Disney Movie Club exclusive, Sword in the, the Sword in the Stone with a slip. Also Peter Pan with a slip. Project ALF. On DVD I got Southern Gospel with a slip. Um, some steelbooks that I got. Terminator Genesis, Walmart exclusive steelbook. Insidious 4K steelbook. Um, I got the Human Centipede collection um, all with the steelbook. Um, I got the BFI release for I Am Weekender. 
and also for the drought the the Droughtman's the Droughtman's contract tentacles from 88 films the lighthouse from arrow video on 4k and the Shaw Brothers classics box set so happy to have those okay for the third week it was a big release week for Avatar and Avatar Way of Water so I did get the Avatar um, release with the slip for the 4k and also the Disney Movie Club exclusive that has the blu-ray and the DVD with the slip um, I got the 3d edition for Avatar the Way of Water with the slip and the regular 4k release um, I got this blu-ray release with a different artwork the Target exclusive the Walmart exclusive with the lenticulars and also the Best Buy exclusive still book so Avatar was a big deal for the week I also got Skinnamarink with the still book and also the slipcover I got Polite Society from Kino Lorber I got the bridges at Toko Ri the Manchurian Candidate on 4k Mr. Wong collection from the Disney Movie Club I got the Disney 100 cars Finding Nemo Brave Monsters Inc Up Coco and also The Incredibles I got the game trilogy from Arrow Video I got the Ultraman um, collection here with a slip and Red Sun I got Tom Cruise in the Firm 4k release also in Vanilla Sky 4k release The Covenant The Bloody Judge this right here is from 88 Films and I got Burial Ground from 88 Films okay during the fourth week another big release week I got the White Buffalo from Kino Lorber Will Penny Prison Girls in 3D I got the Mallrats 4k release with the exclusive slip Crocodile from I guess Vinegar Syndrome Cell I got Irreversible Showgirls A Blade in the Dark Attack of the Demons Trouble Every Day On the Tale of Sar Salton A New Old Play Creepshow 3 from the UK I got The Five Devils this right here is a movie release and then I got the Big George Foreman Blu-ray Evil Dead Rise The Tank um, Shame which is another um, Vinegar Syndrome release I got Motel Hell 4K National Lampoon's Vacation 4K Tales of the Walking Dead Creepshow 4K Mission Impossible 1 and 2 4K still books and also got the National Lampoon's um, Vacation still book from by Vision and Print Line, I got My Summer of Love, Melina, Leap, Not One Less, Damage, and The Bounty. I also got the Arrow Video um, release for 
um, this nice box set. I forget what it's called. Into the Video Store, maybe. Um, but it has all four of these titles in it. And then some Walmart exclusives. I got The Exorcist with a slip. Shazam with a slip. And Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse with a slip. So those are all the titles that I picked up during the month of June that were released in June. I'll also pick up other titles throughout the month that weren't released during the month. And someone mentioned that I should start showing those off just so you can kind of get an idea of other titles that I picked up. So I did a Vinegar Syndrome order, which I did a video on. I did get these titles here, which were quite a bit. And I also got these titles here. So those are the rest of my Vinegar Syndrome titles. Some other things that I got, I got the Redeemer, Son of Satan, the Fight Machine with an autograph from the director, I believe, Daughter, You Are Not My Mother, Munchies and Munchie, the double feature pack from Screen Factory, Hello Dolly, The Insider, Children of the Corn with a slip. Detective Knight Independence. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas with a slip. That's a 4K release. Um, I got some more imprint titles. I got um, this here is called Uptight. Bus Riley's Back in Town. I got Violent Streets, the box set. The Last Hunter with the hard box. Outbreak. Goodwill Hunting with a slip. I got this um, triple feature that I needed in the collection. It includes um, Blazing Saddles, Caddyshack, and European Vacation. End of the Line with a slip. The Edge. K9, City of Angels. Um, some of these I purchased because of some live streams that I was watching and also some other Instagram posts. I got My Girl. I also got the My Girl and My Girl 2 double pack. I got the Handmaiden collection. Gods of Egypt 3D with a slip. Ransom. Reservoir Dogs 4K with the lenticular. Two Hands. Frog Dreaming. Dead for a Dollar with a Slip. The Halfway House. The Wrong Arm of the Law. And The Flying Scott. So those are really all the titles that I picked up during the month of June. A lot of these were purchased from Orbit DVD. Um, you know, if you order three titles, then you get free shipping. And so I did a lot of different orders throughout the month. And to be able to get my free shipping, I always have something in my wish list that I just throw in the cart. Um, but that is really all of the titles that I picked up. There may be some other ones that I just didn't find or looked over because there are piles and piles of movies everywhere. But please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the titles that I picked up. Hopefully you were able to get all the titles that you wanted to get during the month of June. Um, also, let me know which of the titles was probably the best release for the, um, for the month. Was it the Indiana Jones 4K releases? Um, was it the Avatar The Way of Water? So please let me know which ones you thought was your favorite. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.